Well, you may have heard by now the beloved Mike Donahue, who's been with Coin Television for more than four decades, announced he is going to retire. Today, he announced that he is moving on to his next adventure. Mike is retiring at the end of May, but before he goes, we want to share some of the highlights of his 44 year career. Coin Local 6 reporter Jenny Hansen sat down with him to take a look back at some of his favorite memories. Everybody eventually retires, everybody who works, and uh, I thought because we've developed this relationship over the years that you should know that uh, I'm going to reach that milestone and I'm announcing my retirement today. With that, Mike Donahue made local broadcasting history today, announcing on his new newscast that he'll retire in May after an incredible 44-year journey at Coin Local 6. Is asking Oregonians to return to the 1950s. It all started back in 1968 with his first report on the formation of the DEQ. And I used my, my Chevy because it had a hole in the muffler and never would have passed the DEQ test. As a reporter, Mike covered the world, sent overseas for several assignments. The Crack de Chevalier. 650 children, all from the same clan in Somalia. One of the most memorable stories of his career, the Mount St. Helens eruption. This is the Mount St. Helens update. I'm Mike Donahue. What I'll never forget is we all packed into a Chinook helicopter when President Jimmy Carter came out here to see the devastation, and we followed his helicopter into the devastation zone, and he called it a moonscape because it was nothing was there. Everything was covered in gray. Mike came to your living room during every time period during his 40 plus years at COIN, from the early mornings to prime time. Your Yankees defeated Milwaukee 3 to nothing. Hooray for TJ. Thanks, Lynn. Good job. Don't get that count. There were those lighter moments, even on Mount St. Helens, when on live television, a dog running by got caught up in Mike's microphone. Registering a four point tremor. Just lost our microphone. So here I am, speechless, to do this this little cut in on what's happening in Mount St. Helens, and I'm under attack by all this the nature and dogs and everything else. There is no doubt Mike will be missed by his colleagues and viewers. More than 100 people on Facebook commented within an hour Thursday of hearing his retirement announcement. Still, he's excited about the journey ahead. I'm sad about retiring, leaving this profession, but I also look forward to. Being able to start refire, I think is the word people use, to start again in some other area of that will be fulfilling and will use my my talents, gifts. Mike came down to the station tonight to be with us after that piece. And Mike, to say we'll miss you is an understatement. You provide such an example for all of us every single day. Well, I will miss all of you. That's what makes this a fun place to work is the people I work with. Yeah. So. And maybe you could write a book on your fountain of youth secrets. Oh, because you look just the same as you did in those videos. Oh, that's very kind. <laughs> I, I, it's genetic, I guess, and my wife takes very good care of me. Yes, so she does. Good, yeah. Well, we wish you the best, and Thank we know you. you'll be in oh. touch. And oh, yes. We just can't believe we won't see your smiling face every can't day. can't leave my family here. They're very important to me. All right. Great. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to be around for a few months, though. Sure. We don't really have to say yeah. goodbye tonight. Okay. He'll be here for a few months. See you at noon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you tomorrow at noon. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm.